Any sign of them, Mickey? They're still in the bathroom, arguing. What about? Who dropped the soap dish down the loo? Well, who did drop the soap dish down the loo? I am a naughty robot. <laughs> they mustn't see me making this cake. It's a surprise for when they get back from their big day out. A surprise cake? What's in it? Castor oil. <laughs> One atomic thunderbuster, if you please. Wow. Uh. Boogie boogie. Okay. Big Mr. Cake. Erase those raisins. Charge the mark. Let those nuts go nuts. Rise. Well? It's ready. Was it, old chap? <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Now listen to me, Marjorie. Today's our anniversary. We're celebrating 22 years of togetherness. And if you don't hurry up, I'm going to go without you. <laughs> Marjorie, haven't you forgotten something? <laughs> oh, silly me. <laughs> well, I hope you're still hungry after all that. Oh, yes, I fancy a nice steak and chips. Haley booked the restaurant. It's Malaysian. Oh, wonder what their chips will taste like. <laughs> You will be all right on your own, dear, won't you? Oh, of course I will. You go out and enjoy yourself, and don't worry. No. Mickey and I look after everything. Right. All right, let's stop, think, and go back for whatever it is we've forgotten. Handbag, watch, makeup, knickers. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everything to go right today. I want to show them that I can cope on my own. That I'm growing up. You are not growing up. What? You are growing out. Oh. <laughs> Okay, here we go again, string bean. Okay, string bean, it's ready. Better be. Oh. Round, black, flat and horrible. What do you call that? A Bee Gees record. Janie, do we have to go out? Well, if we stay in, I'm going to get all passionate. We have to go out. <laughs> I seem to have this strange power over men. Come on, Steve. Yes, actually, it's our anniversary, too. Exactly a year ago, I took Janie out for the first time. So today... He's going to take her out for the second time. Oh. <laughs> that is not fair, Steve. True, but not fair. Hmm. Well, are you going too? Yes, of course. Come. Well, you know, Ken and I have got this thing going between us. Yeah? This is the thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hayley, are you going to be all right by yourself? Oh, yes, of course. I've got Mickey. Yeah, and I've got Ken. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Want to swap? <laughs> I hope my little fruit bat enjoys her old age pensioners outing. She will. Last year they went to South End. 
and beat up a gang of skinheads. <laughs> a case of assault and fruit battery. <laughs> right. Okay, Nikki. Uh, Charlie, you lucky my little string bean. Now then, on your marks. Get set. <sighs> Someone at the door. You go, Mickey. Why me? Well, it might be the Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, yes. One look at me. They turn agnostic. <laughs> right, hold it right there. Oh, it's, it's leaking. Ah, wait a minute. Thanks. Uh, who are you? Police. Police! <laughs> String bean. It's a man with a big blue lump on his head. Is this your robot, madam? Negative. I'm not her robot. She is my human being. <laughs> well, yes, he's mine. Well, some serious robberies have been committed in the area recently, madam. And we believe that you and this robot can help us with our inquiries. Well, are you gonna come clean? Rub me with blossom, sweetie, and I'll come shiny. <laughs> We believe, Miss Wilberforce, that you programmed this robot to terrorize certain establishments and thus extort money. Oh, rubbish! Mickey couldn't do a robbery. He's programmed never to harm anyone physically. Before you say too much, Miss Wilberforce, I'd like you to see this film. Oh, goody, a movie. This is the hall of the National Combined Bank in the High Street. The film was shot on a security camera. Okay, you guys, up against the wall. Give me a well, Miss Wilberforce? Well, films can be faked. You should hold a proper identity parade. What a good idea. Where do I stand? Not you, Miss Wilberforce. This parade is for the robot. <laughs> you can find any you like. Good. I shall stand next to the pretty one. Uh, I want you to walk down the line, and if you recognize the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, thing uh, that took your money, uh, I want you to touch it on the shoulder. I'm supposing it hasn't got a shoulder. Well, uh, touch it anywhere you like. <laughs> would be interesting. Yes, that's him, that's the one. This one, madam? Yes, him. The ugly one. Ugly one? What a relief. At first, I thought you meant me. <laughs> Take him away, constable. You can come this way, madam. Miss Wilberforce, you're under arrest. I must warn you that anything you say may be taken down to writing and used in evidence. So, oh. in connection with the bank job, have you arrested Metal Mickey? Aye. Well, sir, so have I. What? Explain yourself, Constable. Sir, I have arrested Professor Langdon and his robot, Metal Mickey. Another Mickey? That can't be. Ah, oh, well, we'll soon settle this. Let's go and take a look at them. Both. Inspector, this is an outrage. Are you seriously suggesting that I, an internationally renowned scientist, do not own the genuine Metal Mickey and that this... <laughs> This, this, this girl does. I am suggesting nothing. But my Mick is the real one. Oh, ridiculous. Well, let's take a look at them both. The fake one should be easy to spot. Constables, bring in the robots. <laughs> Good heavens. Hey, who's this stupid-looking robot? And who's this stupid-looking robot? They look exactly the same. They even sound the same. Well, yes, and... Which one's mine? It 
It's amazing. Yes. I'd say that yours was a very clever copy. Hmm. Well, Miss Wilberforce? Well, what? Which is yours? Well, he's... he's... oh, dear. <laughs> Professor? Uh, uh, yes. Well, it's, uh... Yes, it's, uh... It's, uh... They're identical. Yes. Mickey? Yes. Yes. Well, which one is the real you? I am. No, I am. I am Metal Mickey. I am Metal Mickey. You are not. You are a dustbin. A dented dustbin. You are a washing machine on wheels. You are a magnetic moron. You are a second-hand scrappy. Squeaky wheels. Rusty bum. Now, be quiet. Now, clearly one of these is the original Metal Mickey. The other is a copy designed for criminal purposes. Agreed? Oh, yes, quite right. So, we must first decide which is the original. I am. I am. I, sir, am a sophisticated robot. You, sir, are a sophisticated wheelbarrow. <laughs> you, you, clapped out old banger. You, you, poked out old pedal car. Na, 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 na. Be quiet, you two, or I'll, I'll, I'll have you melted down and made into a panda car. Everybody, <laughs> <laughs> Inspector, you'll just have to let us all go. No, wait a sec. Yes, Miss Wilberforce. There is one way, one way to find out which is the real Metal Mickey. Well. Water. <laughs> Very nice, Marjorie. <laughs> Just tastes strange because it's foreign. Oh, that's it. Foreign dishwater. Who's <laughs> the waiter? Thank you. That was delicious dishwater. <laughs> Very worried about Haley, Marjorie. Oh, don't worry about her, dear. She's got Mickey to look after her. Yes, I know, that robot. I mean, what if it were to run amok? You know, right round breaking things and making weird noises. It's a robot, dear, not a husband. <laughs> No, Marjorie, it's for the restaurant cat. Oh! Pussy, 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 pussy! pussy. <laughs> Marjorie, please! Now, come on, let's eat. I mean, you're supposed to be enjoying yourself. After all, it is our anniversary. I know, dear. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Marjorie. Oh! <laughs> well, Miss Wilberforce, how can you tell which is the original Metal Mickey? Easy. The original Mickey... Mine? Mine can do magic. Magic? magic? Affirmative. I can do magic. Me too. I can do magic. Metal Mickey magic. You! Let's see something. Okie dokie. That book on your desk. I will make it rise from the table. Ahem. <laughs> Fantastic. Very impressive. My goodness, this is more fun than watching paint dry. Flabbergasted. <laughs> yes, I know. I can see your flabber. <laughs> A failure! So, this little Mickey must be mine. Or mine. Just a second. Let's see this one do some magic. Okie dokie. Watch this. He can't do it either. Yeah. He's not my Mickey. No. Nor mine. 
someone has nailed the book to the desk. Ah, well, we'll see. Oops. If my aluminium could turn red, I'd be blushing. <laughs> what now? Now, Miss Wilberforce, we'll stop all this nonsense. Metal Mickey magic, indeed. I'd be the laughing stock of the station if this got out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I think? I think somebody's trying to make a fool of me. Yes. Somebody with something to hide. Yes. And that somebody, Miss Wilberforce, is the one who first started babbling about magic. Oh, no. You, Miss Wilberforce. You. you. Haley had come. And Mickey. Hello, what have we got here then? Hey, Mickey, no. Do you remember the last time we took him to an Indian place? <laughs> oh, yeah, he kept hopping around all over the place shouting, Where's the cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> Bits of old horse meat swimming around in yellow goo. <laughs> anyway, Haley's okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Yesterday's boiled rice fried in grease with the uh, Tinned peas and bits of red plastic. Yeah, Haley's <laughs> Haley's fine looking after the house on her own. <laughs> Just like she was married. Oh, look, a freshly fried cow pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, she is a bit weird like that. And what's weird about being married, then? <coughs> nothing, nothing's weird. <laughs> nothing is weird about being married. All I meant was. Kenneth just... Wilberforce, you are forgetting something. Yes, I know. And what are you forgetting, Kenneth Wilberforce? That you and I are sort of, well, we're kind of, uh, should I say, half engaged. Half engaged? Yeah, you are, but he isn't. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. Oh, finally! It's my phone hot! Wilberforce, you and whichever of these metallic monsters is yours, you are clearly the culprits. Oh, quite correct. Yes. I would like Be to... Be quiet. Yes. Tell Blabbermouth to bottom his slot. You shut your face, fizzle bumps. Constable. <laughs> Professor, you will be free to go. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Miss Wilberforce, you will now be charged on several counts of robbery with menaces. Oh, no. Please. And when we discover whichever of these robots is yours, it will be deactivated. Deactivated? Mickey, <coughs> you mean kill him? It's only a robot. Constable, charge her. Sir! <laughs> Haley Patricia Wilberforce, you are charged oh, with... Oh, Inspector, a... please, I've got to say something. If you must, then. <coughs> well... I know it won't make any difference for me, but please, don't do anything to Mickey. Well, I know his magic didn't work. Well, it, it doesn't always. He's not a computer, you see. He's... he's Mickey. He's good and kind and he really cares. He's a... he's a friend. He's not just programmed to be nice. He... he just is. He's... he's great. He's Mickey. My Mickey. Finished. Yes. Constable, continue. Sir! Haley Patricia Wilberforce. Mr. Yes. Inspector. Yes. It was me. I confess. What? I confess. I am her robot. I did the robberies. Okay, Constable. But not her. Not the string bean. She did not know about it. I am the guilty one, not her. She is innocent. But she must have known. Negative. I sneaked out when she was fast asleep, watching Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> so she can leave, huh? Can't she? Please, you can deactivate me as a menace to society. But she can go home, be free, huh? Can't she? Yes, yes, Mickey, she can go. And so can you. But, yes, Professor, this Mickey was prepared to take all the blame just for her. He's the genuine one. He's not just a robot at all. He's, well, he's different. He's 
Well, he is metal, Mickey. Take him away. All right, I admit it. This one is a fake. All I can say is, is fiddle. Yes, fiddle. No, take him out. Fiddle. Oh, fiddle. Mickey, what happened to your magic? It was over cooking your cake, String Bean. Oh. It used up all my magic powers. Of course. I know what you want. Inspector, do you have such a thing as an atomic thunderbuster? <laughs> the police, Miss Wilberforce, are not issued with atomic thunderbusters. <laughs> you should. An atomic thunderbuster a day helps you work, arrest, and play. Oh, no! <laughs> yet? Yes. Well, if it isn't, you will be. I should be so lucky. <laughs> so, Mum. Oh, no, thank you, dear. I'm going to have my pudding. Pudding? What pudding? Well, the one they served up in the restaurant. I didn't fancy it at the time, so I tucked it in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I never did like cream caramel. <laughs> Just think. That ring's been on your finger for 22 years. <laughs> I bet you couldn't get it off now, even if you tried. Oh, I've tried all right, but it won't come off. <laughs> You've tried to get the ring off? Oh, yes, lots of times. Why? Remember that wedding ceremony 22 years ago? Yes. Well, you stuck it on the wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Janie, happy anniversary. Oh, oh you too. Oh. oh, Ken, your hand's all cold. Is it? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you like cream caramel, then, do you? Oh, oh Mickey! Mwah. Thank you. Oh. It had to work this time. I had two whole packets of atomic thunderbusters. Peppermint flavour. <laughs> oh, yes, a one packet of banana flavour. Boogie boogie. <laughs> Look, everyone, no hands. <laughs> Whoa. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Well, well, <laughs> shut up. What a splendid cake. Oh. Risen beautifully, dear. I'm sure it'll be lovely light. <laughs> well, how do you like being a housewife for a day, eh, Haley girl? <laughs> a bit dull and uneventful, eh? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't say that, Dad. 